The Vault Hunter knew what to do. It was time to draw Bella out of her lair. They laid out the bait, looking to lure out little Bella. But Bella weren't so itty-bitty no more. Vault Hunter watched, hoping this would work. And what do you know? She took the bait. Now Bella seemed friendly enough, but would she take to Titus's scent after all these years? Vault Hunter placed the pants on the ground. Titus's pants smelled like dreams deferred and a yearning for something lost. Also, days old hotcakes for some reason. Looks like she missed Titus as much as he missed her. But the local Bellocks didn't take too kindly to their matriarch to bring her back on the like that. I'll kill ya! The beast seemed like she was following a scent on the breeze. Hell of a nose on those bellocks. Vault Hunter tailed her to make sure she made it. Look at you, girl. What a specimen. But there's someone back in town who misses you. You remember Titus, don't you? Another pair of Titus's pants! What is going on with you?! Hey, I said don't ask, didn't I? You ready to go, girl? Huh. So the old girl actually understands you, or what? Let's just say it's part of my charm. At any rate, I'm sure Titus will appreciate what you've done. I'll pick up the reward from Titus when I get into town. Here's your cut. Let's go, Bella. You haven't forgotten your way back to town, have you? Oh, come on, I'll show you. <laughs>
Wouldn't know it from looking at it, but they sure packed a bunch. Bombs were looking mighty handy. Core for a bit of extra. Bring her dream to life. Then Gehenna will be mine. And there won't be anyone fool enough to try to take it from me. Wanted to see me? I did. Boys around here say that when you want bloody work done, the hatchet's who you call. Now listen close. We're gonna make another run on the town, and I want you by my side when we do. All right? <laughs> what we going for? Got plenty of munitions, foodstuffs. Don't seem short on supplies. Oh, this isn't a supply raid. That's the old way of doing things. I want you to take the town. And I don't expect there to be any survivors. You understand me? That's bloody work. I'm the butcher, and you're the hatchet. Frankly, I don't see how it was going to be any other way. There we go! Bombs! God, I love bombs. Anyway, time to find that train and blast it sky high! No time to lose. Vault Hunter had to find a shortcut. Tunnel had collapsed. Company never bothered to clear it out. You <laughs> told you they backed a bunch. <laughs> the shortcut worked wonders. The vault hunter set to planting those explosives on the tracks. Luckily, the train didn't come along till they were done. Trust me on that. That's just how stories work. <laughs> Ferocity is my middle name. Zane Ferocity.
like you. Hey, buddy. before you die, all right? Bombs were set. Now for my favorite part. <sighs> Boom. The explosion echoed through the forest, and those devil riders didn't even get a chance to hit the brakes. Stop. Now the vault hunter needed to find out where that train was going. Figured the conductor would know, if he was still in one piece. Oh, hey man! Call me Jerky! You found another one of my treasures! I was starting to wonder if anyone would ever spot that one. Ah! Beautiful last words out of that bastard. Luckily, that wasn't the conductor. Nope, wasn't that one neither. There he was. The conductor. But your rose is gonna make you pay for that. <laughs> See you in ruin, bounty hunter. in a friend to do her dirty work for her. Gunslinger. It was time to find out what that cackling bastard knew. You're not looking so hot, brother. Where was this train going? And be quick about it. <laughs> Facility. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> was the last shipment. <laughs> you're too. You're too late. Juno, alas! Rose has been... Transporting core to some facility. Yeah, I know where it is. Been there before. I'll meet you outside. You ain't getting in without my help.
You ain't walking out of here alive, you greedy sow. I know you done stole them beans. I ain't never stole no beans in my whole damn life. You took them. I swear by my grandma's untended bunions, I will end you for this. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and try, you refried bean-loving agent. It's the up. Here I was, thinking this fib and fester cock was my best friend. Then I go and take a gander at the back of my eyelids for a spell, and she ups and steals all the damn beans. Probably because she wants to bake them like a savage. Don't you give a chillin' of wit to this no good cheap shot and chiseler. I ain't eating no damn refried beans, so she done stole them and trying to pin the deed on me. Oh, beans are just lovely. I get it, girls. But before there's any bloodshed, let me have a bit of a look around. Fine. Mighty fine. <laughs> Exceptionally fine. <laughs> Trump infinity. <laughs> Shame to see friends at each other's throats like that. But I suppose some things are worth fighting for. Maybe even dying for. what we got here then a lead and it sure don't look like a person tore into him some bean hungry beasts were clearly on the prowl the vault hunter followed the trail of lost legumes reba and betty were famous you know and not just for their constant beauty either back in town they were known as the bean queen Folks said you ain't never really tasted beans until you try them that come from the Queens. Ah, shame to see so many beans wasted like this. I don't blame the girls for being so upset about it.
trail of cans better lead somewhere good. Like a pot of gold. Or beans. No! Golden beans. Ninety-nine cans of beans on the ground. Ninety-nine cans of beans. ventured into the beast's lair, hoping to recover some of those precious beans. Turns out them bean queens weren't the only bean fans in the forest. They were bean-hungry devils who weren't likely to relinquish their prize. Maybe them two girls didn't need to trade barbs after all. Yeesh. Only one can left. Them ladies are gonna be at each other's throats all over again. The Vault Hunter was right about that. You better damn well hope they come back with them beans or you're done for, you hear me? And you better damn well hope that I'm chock full of refried by supper time, or I'ma riddle you dead! Even if and they do come back with them beans, I'm gonna bake them savory little guys. You hear me? <laughs> Over my bloody carcass, you will. Oh, that can be a... Oi, enough of all that now! I've got this one last can of beanie goodness right here. And I'll make the call on it. Get me? Better you than her, I reckon. Choose wisely. Fine by me. As long as you make the right call. It was a tough call for the Vault Hunter, but an important decision. Probably the most important bean-centric decision they'd ever make. Just doing what's best for you, I think. What the good hot damn do you think you're doing, stranger? Yeah, you wasted perfectly good beans! Now, if that ain't already a crime, it ought to be. What do you say, Betty? Friends again? If that means we get to drop this lick spittle together, I'm in. Let's teach him a lesson! God damn! Okay, okay. We shouldn't have messed with you. We get it. We yield. Yeah, we yield. Don't end us. Betty, I feel like we ain't never been closer than during that old fuss just now. Maybe it's better that there ain't no more beans for us to feud on. I was thinking the same damn thing, Reba. It's better this way. Thank you for helping us get back on track, stranger. Our kinship ain't never been more fierce, thanks to you. Now come on, Betty. Let's rest up. Then, after all these years, we're finally gonna do it. <gasps> you mean it? That's right. We'll head back to town and finally open up that restaurant we always talked about. I'm in, Reba. I'm so in. Beans, huh? What can't they do?
That was where the company started this whole mess. Seemed a good enough place to end up. You're just in time! Got me some devil riders here! We'll talk after we put them in the ground! Looking tech right there. Didn't seem like a fall like you. <laughs> that thing would eventually prove. Be a handy bit of tech. Not just yet, but eventually. Are you chapter two? Riders broke into the facility years back. We stole all manner of company tech, including these echo upgrades. Here, that'll let you access the telezapper network. It's got to get you in the system. New user identified. Granting access to telezapper network. There you go. Now look. Rose must be using core to power a company launcher of some sort. If anything's got the firepower to crack that egg, it's company tech. Find that launcher and shut her down. Told you that telephone. You're on your way now. Facility's not far. Get going. Beasts, it all came from here. The facility was a bastion, clever folk, fancy cats. Damn, you this. The company had an angry, but you won't hear anyone around here offering freely. Same reason you hold your breath while you pass the grave. Ugh. <sighs> 